A theoretical perspective of Vygotsky um, that we draw upon specifically is uh, his concept of everyday and um, scientific concept formation. And what that really means is that um, children actually have experiences in their everyday world of particular um, activities, such as the ones I've mentioned in relation to the clever cards already, but also um, they um, have learned um, experiences, um, cultural experiences that are quite explicit about concepts that we as, as a, a society as a, have created as a human invention such as mathematics, science, literacy, numeracy and so on. And what, um, um, what we've come to know in the area, in the research area of science education is that in the past it's children develop all sorts of interesting ideas about their world which are not necessarily those that scientists would, necessar would necessarily um, say were accurate scientifically but um, that they actually construct understandings and in the past it was thought that those ideas were um, very difficult to change and they had to be changed and um, in order to lead to a more scientific understanding of the world. However, we also, from the work that um, Vygotsky did early on in his, his life, we know that um, when scientific concepts are taught in isolation, as, as they can be in, in school settings, where you might look at the concept of force and just do some simple everyday activities that may or may not have any connection with the child's world, that those understandings can be learnt in rote fashion and applied in, a test, in test conditions. But in everyday life, the child continues to think and act using their everyday understandings. Um, so, so for instance, a child in my previous research been able to show that children um, will make comments about flat batteries and um, they won't be thinking that in terms of the scientific construction, but they'll be thinking of the battery as actually literally flat. Um, children will have make, understand, make comments about their understandings of, say, their body and, um, and think about how their body might work, but not necessarily actually understand um, how the internal organs work. And so when they eat a lot of food and they hear their um, parents saying things like, oh, they have hollow legs, you know, they eat so much food, they have hollow legs. And children actually, in those everyday situations, begin to develop their own theories about how their bodies work. And so have this conception, and we know from our own research that this is true, um, that they often think that they, their legs are hollow and fill up with food. So, um, so there are many ideas that children construct from their everyday world. So actually having some very thoughtful interactions is really important in those everyday situations. And the research has previously suggested um, that we need to um, move those, those ideas forward. That they're kind of like two areas, the area of that these alternative views that children have that are not necessarily scientific, and then there are these scientific concepts that scientists believe should be taught. And our research um, and drawing upon the work of Vygotsky, we actually don't separate out those two things because we think that the way in which children in their everyday world come to understand scientific concepts is better informed when there's an intentional interaction between the child and the adult. Uh, the adult. Um, so, so that they so it's not so much about them not or or do developing these alternative views but it's actually in the situation the everyday situation to learn a particular concept to think about that situation is of course what children really want to do and so um, Vygotsky talked about this this notion of these everyday concepts spiraling up to afford um, the foundations for understanding scientific concepts or academic school concepts, whether that's literacy or numeracy um, or, or science, um, and that at the same time um, there is this um, view of, from Vygotsky's theory that these, these scientific concepts or literacy concepts or numeracy concepts need to be embedded within the everyday situations. So these two things are completely interrelated, the everyday world and the scientific or conceptual world. But of course to bring that together in the everyday situation so that one informs the other can only be done in the social settings that make sense to children. So in play-based environments which afford many possibilities for learning a range of concepts and with the, in playgroup settings or, or preschool settings of any kind where there's lots of adults to actually take those moments and to develop 
a, a rich dialogue around what's happening um, affords a, the possibilities for children to become very excited um, and very pleased to actually um, develop great insights about how their world works. So therefore they're learning the, context, the concepts in the context in which those concepts um, are meaningful. And in play-based settings, um, many meaningful con contexts and concepts can actually be introduced.